The longer of the two Georgetown essays is one page single spaced. Stay tuned, I am sharing a successful student essay excerpt and uh, you can kind of gather some intel from there. Thank you for joining me on my channel. For the best college essay advice, subscribe and hit the bell. The prompt the student responded to basically allowed them to adapt most of the essay from Common App. So stay tuned and I will share excerpts and why it worked and how. Hi, I'm Dr. Josie with Write Your Acceptance. With hundreds of students in college or graduates by now, I know how to have the admission officers root for you and you be as memorable as possible. Stay tuned. All right, so here is the prompt so you know exactly what the student was responding to. As Georgetown is a diverse community, the admissions committee would like to know more about you in your own words. Please submit a brief essay, either personal or creative, which you feel best describes you. So here we go, here's the beginning. With long angular green leaves meeting an oval yellow star of the show, the pineapple shapes my existence. Dating back to colonial America, the pineapple represents warmth and hospitality. This sweet, tangy, pinchy tropical fruit follows me everywhere. Nicknamed Mr. Bina, pineapple in Spanish, my dad works at Baptist Hospital in Miami and their logo is a pineapple. With pineapple paraphernalia drowning our home decor, I am surrounded by the pineapple. So the student is interested in studying hospital administration. On paper, not a very kind of snazzy, drama-filled major. So we wanted to kind of offer some estrangement for engagement. You wanted to kind of find a hook or an entryway that was very image-driven. This incorporates multiple senses, right? If you like pineapple, if you don't like pineapple, you had that tangy kind of sense in your mouth um, as you kind of are visually putting together, assembling the pineapple with the description in the, in the beginning. You also have some kind of authority established by informing the, the reader about colonial America and its exchanges with the pineapple. Very brief one-liners, right? But you're doing a lot at the beginning that really estranges to, um, to engage. You're really kind of confu confusing the reader a little bit to kind of pique their interest and then they kind of remain invested with you. The middle of the essay is kind of the student in action. So showing minimal, but showing actual experience that she has in hospital management and hospitality and how that kind of is um, deepening or gearing up, inspiring her pursuit of the major in college. And so I start reading the middle. Before Hurricane Maria, I compartmentalized my academics and volunteer interests in healthcare for my extracurricular. However, Hurricane Maria wreaked devastation and it is during episodes of crisis that my dad and his hospital personnel do their silent hero work. While my dad worked around the clock in the command center, I refused to stand on the sidelines. Armed with my summer volunteer experience and clipboard, I assisted in the logistics and lodging for all hospital staff working during and post the hurricane. My crisis management work during the hurricane, however, pale against the first-hand reports I learned from my friend Luciana. Shortly after the hurricane, Lucy moved to Miami and joined our volleyball team. She was fun and hardworking, and yet at times a somber stare overtook her face, consumed by hurricane flashbacks. Wanting to extend home to her, I brought her a pineapple design Penelope Pewter notebook. Although a brief friendship as she returned to Puerto Rico a few months later, she left me with stories of broken down and understaffed medical facilities that were unable to provide devastated communities with quality care. So in this section, you have both the student in action, the student making a social contribution, and the student kind of nurturing a personal relationship. And bonus, she added the pineapple yet again. So in case we forgot about the beginning, we're all kind of threading that theme of hospitality through the logo um, throughout the essay. Do you have an idea for your essay, but it's not there yet? Comment below, I'd love to help you out. So the ending is this kind of aspirational bonus. This is why Georgetown education would be the education for me. So it's kind of a little why ussy at the end. This is just kind of what straight up baller students do. All right, so here we go. As a Hoya in health studies, I'd be able to deepen my academic training with real world experiences. For instance, the senior internship where student work with and learn from senior executives of the MedStar Georgetown University Hospital. Further, I believe a comprehensive college experience may not be complete without a study abroad experience. I am inspired by the stories shared by the Hoya's blog, Stories Beyond the Hilltop, and aspire to represent Georgetown with pride on an international stage. My experiences to date with healthcare and with the pineapple have shaped my character, my family life, and my calling. No matter how you slice it, 
I've learned the profound need for dedicated professionals to enter this special industry, and I strive to one day follow in my dad's footsteps and become Miss Pineapple with the elite preparation only Georgetown could provide. So notice the kind of fun phrasing, no matter how you slice it, right? Um, we come back to the pineapple. We brought in, um, the student brought in very specific Georgetown driven research, which is key. So if you want to bring in something about how the institution, no matter what school it is, is gonna be a good fit, instead of brand name alone or how you love that city, bring in something research driven to really see yourself living and learning in that space and you sell it kind of in a more convincing, compelling way. Want more topics, samples, and guidance? I have my free college essay guide in the description below. I also have my YS template there. You can grab that. I am, since time is limited, working with students already through my online portal. So if you wanna get my eyes and my expertise on your essay, um, make sure that you reach out. Uh, there's not a lot of time, but there is plenty of time to make your essays as compelling and convincing as possible. If you found this video helpful and um, you want more of these with student samples, give us a like, comment below, uh, more please, and your wish is my command. Um, good luck and please share with your college-bound friends. I'd really appreciate it. See you soon.